I know this video is gonna trigger a lot of people. However, guys, we have to come to the realization that the A380 has become obsolete. Just like the 747 is now obsolete, although it is serving a very specific market still, there's no longer a need for these four-engined aircraft. I don't necessarily agree with those people who say that the A380 is a complete failure because the reality of the situation is, is that it served a very specific purpose and I believe it fulfilled that purpose to a great extent. Now the first A380 rolled out of the hangar on January the 18th, 2005. Although the first A380 entered into service with Singapore Airlines in October 2007, the development of the plane actually started all the way back in 1988 as a competitor towards the 747. Now since the production of the plane, also known as the Whale, it has transformed the market in a considerable way. Now the A380 entered into service with a very specific target to meet the high demand which was present in the coming years. We know that airports such as London Heathrow, Dubai, Hong Kong and etc. no longer have any more slots available. So in order to bring more passengers into those airports, you need a bigger plane, which is essentially why the 747 and the A380 are the main competitors of the high-end market. We know that everything changes within the aviation market environmental issues has become more prominent and also with the decline in travel due to COVID-19, there's no longer a use for that particular aircraft. From an engineering point of view, we have to say that the A380 is a magnificent plane. I've flown on the aircraft at least six times and I have to say that I would fly on the A380 over any other aircraft if I was given the opportunity. And I know many other people would also say the same. It's the most comfortable aircraft compared to the 300 er and that's coming from a Boeing fan, guys. <laughs> but having said all of that, we have to come to the realization that the economics do not add up compared to two-engine aircraft. Since the A380 is huge, it's also gonna cost a whole lot more to maintain the aircraft compared to a two-engine aircraft which is smaller and also which will cost less to maintain. Now with the 747 at least, there is an aftermarket. When it's no longer being used in the commercial market, it will go over to the freighter market, which is still flying at this moment in time. However, with the A380, that's not the reality at all. You can't use the A380 as a freighter aircraft because it just won't fit in majority of the airports. I mean, I do understand when people say that there is a benefit of the A380 in the aftermarket when it comes to parts, but that's only useful for airlines who are wanting parts for the A380. And since many airlines are now retiring the A380 due to the pandemic and also forwarding their fleet optimization plans, there is absolutely no need for an aircraft, which is why it's sent to the scrapyard. That doesn't mean to say that the A380 is now completely out of the picture because a few airlines such as British Airways and Qantas will still fly the aircraft on very specific routes. However, we can expect that these flights that were used by the A380 will now be used by two engine aircraft such as the 787 and also the A350. Now from an environmental point of view, four engines is far worse than two engines. And also considering that the 787 and also the A350 are far more environmentally friendly or friendlier, it goes without saying that it's better to utilize an aircraft at 90% optimization than an aircraft at 40 or 50% in the current pandemic, which will result in far better results and also better economics for the airline. Now, since there is a gap in the market with the high-end aircraft, you might be wondering to yourself, what aircraft will fill that gap? Well, at the moment, we currently have the 777-9, which is the largest aircraft that Boeing will be offering. But when you're comparing both of these particular aircraft, you're not going to get the same results. However, if Boeing do decide to go with the proposed 777-10X, then that might fill the market of the A380 far closer than any other aircraft which is available at this moment in time. So it really depends on the airline. Do you use smaller aircraft such as the 777 or the A350 where you can fill more seats but have more flights or do you go for the larger aircraft fill less seats but have less flights i think the trend that we're moving towards now is that airlines prefer having a smaller aircraft with more flights which will result in a more economical viable option i mean i don't want to put people in that position where people have to hate on the a380 just because you're loyal to Boeing. That's not the case at all. We have to take in the success of every aircraft and the A380 has proven to be very successful in its own way. The A380 was created for a very specific demand and it did meet that demand, 
maybe not towards the highest percentage that Airbus were expecting, but we can expect, we can say that it did meet the demand at least 70%, especially with the larger airports. So at the end of the day, captains, aviation is constantly changing, especially with COVID, everything has changed and we can expect more changes to come along the way. It's a sad reality that the A380 is no longer going to be used in service as it was before, but the same situation will apply for the 777, for the A350, for the 787 Dreamliner and whatever aircraft you can think of. So captains, do let me know what your thoughts are regarding this situation. Have you ever flown on the A380? And if so, what was your experience like? Thanks so much for watching guys, like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.